New tonight, could sharing pictures online with your friends and family lead to a curious stranger getting to your door? Yeah, pretty scary, but it did happen recently to more than a dozen college students. CBS 2's Tony Aiello shows us how easy it is to become a victim of social stalking. In a city of 8 million people, I set out to find a stranger using social media and within minutes pinpointed her exact location and her real name. Are you Tang? I knew about the Japanese tea she had for breakfast. How was the matcha? And where she had recently traveled. You going back to London anytime soon? Going back to London? Yeah. How do you know that? Kind of scary. And kind of easy. I used an online tool that maps Instagram pictures in real time to see who was nearby and then scrolled through her Instagram feed to learn more about her. If you, Tony Aiello, can find this person like that, so can anyone else. Lance Ulanoff is a social media expert at Mashable.com. So they're leaving like a, a trail of breadcrumbs for everyone family, friends, criminals. Alleged criminals such as Arturo Galvan. At me through my blinds, and I just like I scream at the top of my lungs. These college students, two of more than a dozen young women Galvan allegedly targeted, police say he stalked them using social media posts to figure out where they lived. Pictures from parties, bars, and restaurants told him when they were away. That's when he allegedly broke in. He took a lot of my underwear and bras, stealing underwear, jewelry, and electronics. You've posted on Instagram repeatedly throughout the day, and there are services that can connect the dots. So what can you do? Experts say delay posting. Put up pictures that tell followers where you've been, not where you are. Don't post pictures of your home or information that reveals your daily routine. And learn to manage the location and privacy settings on your mobile device. You can tell it to never use your location when posting to social media. Double check to see what settings are available and what privacy settings you could set. It's just people realizing when it actually makes sense to broadcast where you are. And when it makes sense to tell your smartphone to play dumb about where you happen to be. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Some great information there. Yes. My phone used to light up like when I would leave for work and it would tell me the traffic. I'm like, how does it know hmm. that I'm leaving for work? And it was that location services thing. The phone's a little too smart. It was. It needs to be dumber. Freaking me out a little bit. I know. Freaking <laughs> me out right now. Yeah. Shut that thing down. All right, let's talk weather.